All right, folks, here we are growing green. Now, I gotta tell you one thing that we do a lot of is math. And it can be fun. I know it's tedious, but I'm gonna show you some basic calculations that we use every day to calculate the square footage of lawns. Then we're gonna head out and actually do some measurements and so, show you how to do that. Chuck, let's go over the basics of obtaining your square footage. Okay, if we pull up to a lawn and we're gonna measure to get square footage for our pricing, we have a square. That's a square foot. We have a rectangle. We have a circle and a triangle. You may have all these shapes in your lawn, so we're going to have to measure that to get the proper square footage for your lawn. So with a square, we would do length times width. In this case, we've got 12 inches, our length, 12 inches, our width. If we take this and do 12 times 12, that would equal 144 square inches. And that could be extrapolated in square foot. If exactly. It's a bunch of that could be 12 feet, any measurement that, that we have. Down below, we have the rectangular. We have 10 inches times 12 inches. That would be 120 inches. Or that could be 10 feet by 12 feet in your lawn. And Here point. again, length times width for the square or the rectangular. Now down below, we'll save pi for last. Down below we have the triangular. What we're gonna do in that triangular shape, as you can see it's sort of shaped like a piece of pie. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take half this base times that height. Okay, so in this case we have six inches times 12 inches. So if you look at the formula, half the base times the height. So if we do six times 12, that's 72 square inches. Here again, that could be feet. That could be six foot by 12 foot. Now up top, we have the pi. Now you're know. getting complicated. Huh? That's right, pi r square. And we all know that pi is not square. Pi is round. <laughs> so here we have the diameter, which is nine inches. We have the radius which is 4.5. Which is R. Which is your R. So in this case, we're gonna do the 3.14 times 4.5, which is this radius, which would be half of that circle. And then you're gonna square it. You're gonna times it by itself twice. So that'll be times 4.5 times 4.5. In this case, it equals 63.58 square inches. And here again, this could be feet, that could be a tree ring, or a plant bed, or big round a lawn. big round patio area, or it could be a rounded area in your lawn. So I hope this makes a little bit of sense. You know, math can be fun. This isn't too terribly complicated. It's just basically length times width here, half the base times the height here and then your pi formula, 3.1. Great, all right, now we're gonna head out and actually do some measurements on some lawns. All right, folks, bear with us. All right, folks, Tommy Cowd here on the lawn with Growing Green, and I've got Chuck Ream with me from Growing Green, and we're out here at a park, and this video is about measuring lawn areas or mulch beds to get the square footage. It's very important. All the properties that we treat, the treatments are based on square footage. Whether it be the chemical application rates, the price of the application, it's all based on square footage. So it's very important to determine your square footage first. And you know, you've got these irregular bed shapes. So Chuck, how would you handle this irregular pattern here to get an accurate measurement? I would, I would simplify it, Tommy. I would just cut it up into squares, rectangles, or triangles. Okay. I wouldn't try to worry with trying to do circles and do the pi r square formula. And, and what we do, we don't have to be quite that precise, although we want to be somewhat accurate, but we're not laying carpet or putting down hardwood flooring. Gotcha. Hey, well, show us what you would do here on a to get a great, accurate measurement. And I'll take my leg. That's a measuring wheel. 
each click we hear, I guess, is kicking off a foot or so. Well, I'd stop about where the shape changes right here. That gives us 34 feet. 34 feet. Make a note of that. And I'd write that down. Oops. Glad I got waterproof shoes on. This is really wet down in here. I'm gonna come across. That's about 12 feet. Okay. So 34 times 12. And then if you notice, we got this little area that's left. They really didn't get measured. Now we're not gonna split hairs, but what we can do is if you notice, we put a wide here, and then it narrows out down where Tommy is. So we could do half this base about five feet okay and then we'll just take it down to the narrowest point so that'll be five by 17 so I'll write that down okay now you've got what three two measurements so far 34 by 12 and 5 by 17 you so multiply those together multiply those now we got the rest of this area and you can see how this is shaped I got one big sort of square right here that just like stays on. Okay. Under the sidewalk, there's 24. And we're lucky here because we got a good hard surface we can walk on. Nice. 24. And it's not wet. And that's 24 by 22. So that's almost a perfect square. So we'll just do 24 by 22. And then you'll notice we got this other little little area sticking out right here. So the whole thing looks like the state of Louisiana or something. So we won't worry with that rounded. We'll just make this like another small little square. Well, peninsula. It's not going to hurt it. So you turn that into a square. Yep, so that'll be 14. 14. The more measurements you take, the more accurate you're going to be. Now we'll take all these measurements and we'll just add these up. And then that'll be the total square footage for this, this really irregular bed. Of this little regular area. All right. And that look, only took four measurements. Right? Well, let's go look at a round area and a triangle. All right, here we are looking at like a horseshoe area here. Chuck, how would you handle this one? Just take the width of this. Okay. That'll be about eight foot. Eight feet wide. Good to take. Then I just walk it all the way around. Run it all the way around. Awesome. Eight by about forty. Eight by forty. And I'll say that's three hundred and twenty square feet. And that's as simple as that? Simple. All right, here we are looking at a rectangular area. So what the formula for that is base times height or length times width. There's 10. That's 10 feet by... Twenty-one. 10 feet by 21. So that's 210, 210 square, square feet. Foot. In this little area. Awesome. Add it all up. Awesome. All right, here we are in a kind of an irregular area, Chuck. But this is like a triangle here. Yeah, a piece of pie. Think okay. of it just, just use in simple mode. Just think of it like you're cutting a pie. Okay. So in this area, we're going to make a triangle first. We're going to make our little triangle first, and then the rest of it, we'll just cut it up into squares and rectangles. The so triangle is so what the I'd, height times half the base. Yeah. So, so let's I'd figure that. Height, so. Come on out. Yeah. So there's my height. It's 19. 19 height. And then if you look down with that with that bed edge, you can half sort of base. see where the piece of pie shape sort of size. So that's 20. So, so that'll be 10 by 19. 190 square foot triangle. Yeah, that's it. Simple as that. Exactly. All exactly. right. Let's go look at some other area, like a circle. Okay, guys, now we're doing a circle area. 
right here, which the formula for that is pi r squared. Pi is 3.14. Pi's are not square, by the way. They're round. So anyway, Chuck's going to measure across the whole distance of the circle. And whatever you come up with. Copy, that's 50. 50, so it's 25 is the radius. So it's 25 times 25. That's square. Times 3.14. So what do you come up with with that? 25 times 25. Okay, and I got my calculator here. And I'll help you here. So 25, if we do 25 times, times 25. 625 times 3.14. 3.14 so it's 2,000 square feet close to 1962 so that's a square a circular area and that's simple now another way to do it Chuck is to almost make it into a square so you could do the 50 across times 50 across you're gonna have a little area you're gonna be a little over but hey there's nothing wrong with that but you can definitely see that a square, you know, you don't fit a round peg in a square hole, but in this case, we can't. Excellent, excellent. Great, right. great information, Tommy. Okay, well, we're done with the square. A, uh, a circle, and it could be a square. All right, well, this is measuring a lawn area. All right, folks, have a great one.